Um, hello, so today we are going to continue on um, problems from Lit Code Daily. So kids with the greatest number of candies. So basically here we have, suppose we have kids that have candies and we get an array of candies where an array uh, at position I basically represents the candies that the ith kid has. Um, and we get extra candies, which is basically a number of extra candies that we have. And what we want to return is the result array where for each position it would be true if for that position, so for that kid at position I, if we add all the extra candies, they will have the greatest number of candies. Okay? And if, if that's not the case, if even if we give that kid the extra candies, they are still not the max. Um, they don't have the, ma the greatest number of candies, then we want to set to false. Um, and basically, you could have multiple kids that have the, the max number of candies, but the, the ith kid needs to have that number for it to be true here. So that's the idea. Now, if you take a look at this list of candies, extra candies is three. So for the first one, if we give them the extra candies, it would be five. And so with five, that, that would be the max. Even though there is another five, but that would be still the max value because five is equal to the max here. So we put true here. For three, if we add three, it would be six. It would be the max bigger than the greatest number here, five. And so it's true. For five, if we add three, eight max again. For one, if we add three, it would be four. There is still a higher number, five, so we put false. For three, we add three, it would be six, so greater. So it's the max. That would be true here. So that's the idea. Now, how do we tackle it? Well. We could just do exactly what we are taught, right? just the description of the problem. And so what would that look like? Um, uh, so we, we can just go through the list of candies, right? Okay, like this. And then we just try to, uh, so we have the result array and we just tr try to add the extra candies and we check if that's the max, but we need to keep track of the max, okay? And so the max initially is just the max of the candies. And if this is bigger or equal to the max, then that means we should set, it, set the result position to true. And so we just set the result position to true because they have the maximum number of candies. And then we return the result. So pretty straightforward solution. However, here, if we want to do I here, we, we need to enumerate like this. But that's a, li a little bit um, cumbersome. So we need to enumerate and we need to have zero up to n. But w instead of doing that, we can just have an empty list. And instead of having i here, we could just add, right? Because this is for each position. Um, it would be the next the next uh, can uh, kid, right? Is each position would be the next element. And so here we can actually just append like this. Okay? And that should be similar to if we had enumerated and used a result at position i. Uh, because this one would be just the same number n, right? Um, so we can just run this, submit, and this passes. Now, in terms of time complexity, this is straightforward. It's O of n time, because n is the length of candies, the number of kids. And in terms of um, the space here, so O of n time, in terms of space, we are using just this extra array, so O of n space as well, because this would be the, um, the number of kids. Um, yeah, so pretty straightforward solution. Um, that's pretty much it for today. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.